Hi, Simon K to be here, doing another video to compare Snap Heal from the guys at MacFun with Photoshop. In my previous video, we compared how Photoshop and Snap Heal can both remove people and small objects from your photos. In this video, we're going to compare how Snap Heal and Photoshop can erase multiple objects as well as more complex, often larger objects from your photos. First, let's have a look at removing these wires and traffic lights with Photoshop. The trick with a sky like this is not to remove more background than you need to so that we retain as much texture detail as we can. The first thing we're going to do in Photoshop is to come down here to the Band-Aid and select the Spot Healing Brush tool. We simply click where we want to start, move to our end point and as these are in a straight line we can hold down Shift. This draws a line between those two points, very suitable for straight wires like this. And when we now click again and release, it will heal that area. And we'll be using exactly the same technique with holding down the shift when we work on this photo in Snap Heal. Up here again, we'll click, we'll hold down shift and click again. Let's click here and repeat the process holding down shift again. For the bit we've missed, we'll simply paint over it and release our mouse. Coming up to the traffic lights, we'll make our brush slightly smaller and we'll do the same trick again. So remember, we click and then we hold shift and click again. To remove the traffic light, we're going to use the lasso tool over here on the left. We then draw a very rough selection around the object we want to remove. We want to be fairly close to the light, but we don't need to be too accurate here. As we release the mouse, we see the marching ants showing us what we've selected. And we have to then hold down the control key and hit the delete key. And the content aware deletion pops up. We hit OK and Photoshop will delete the content. We then need to hold down control D to remove our selection. Now let's have a look at the same process in Snap Heal. Under the arrays section, we're gonna again select a brush. And as with Photoshop, we click at our start point we move to the end, hold down shift and click again and it will draw a straight line between those two points. In this case you'll notice it hasn't removed the content immediately but it's put a mask over it. So let's keep going with the click and then the shift and click technique and remove the rest of the wires here. And this time when we've finished making our brush a little bit larger we'll simply paint over the area we've missed. We now come over here to the right and hit shape shift. Now to repeat the process for the traffic lights, I'll make my brush a little bit smaller again. So we click and then shift and click the same way we did earlier. And once more we hit shape shift when we're ready. As with Photoshop, we'll now come and select the lasso tool and draw a rough selection around the lights. And this time I'll use Twister to remove the objects. You'll find different healing methods work best in different situations. And using the little eye tool, we can easily see the before and after effects of our editing. If we now do a comparison, both products have done a really excellent job of removing the unwanted items. Snap Heal is available on the Mac App Store and it is a tiny fraction of the price of Photoshop. There are many more enhancements we can do to this photo and we'll look at those in future videos.